Can you guess which one is a dog and which one is a wolf? You're right, it's hard to distinguish them. Here's why. Before we start, the debate of this video is, should wolf dogs be legal or illegal, and the reason why? Let us know in the comments, and the best opinions will be penned. The physiognomy of an Akita Inu may be similar to that of a wolf, but it's an interesting fact that just like the Akita Inu, even a Maltese, a much smaller dog, has 99.9% .9 wolf DNA. The reason for this similarity is the common genetics. 36,000 years ago, humans created a close connection with a wild animal, the gray wolf. Years of living together have affected the domestication of these animals, and dogs, our best friends, are their direct ancestors. Nowadays, domesticated dogs are bred with gray wolves wolves, eastern wolves, red wolves, and Ethiopian wolves, and as a result, there are hybrids known as wolf dogs. But there are dog breeds that, even though they're not hybrids with wolves, yet they look just like them. So in this episode, dogs that look a lot like wolves, and those that are specifically bred to look like wolves. Alaskan Malamute this is one of the oldest Arctic breeds, and the history shows that these dogs have more genetic similarities from ancient breeds than other dogs. Also, this is a natural breed, so it wasn't bred by humans for specific aims or jobs. Alaskan Malamutes saved many characteristics of looks and behavior from the wolf because nomadic people needed a dog that could survive alone. Same as wolves. He has a high prey drive and a herd instinct. Physically, this breed has common features with wolves such as dense coat, ears, and facial lines. Because of the color and size of the coats, an Alaskan Malamute looks more like a northwestern wolf. Siberian Husky With his athleticism and striking eyes, Siberian Husky is one of the breeds that mostly looks like wolves. Another common element is the similarity of the head forms, ear forms, and fluffy tail. Besides this, Huskies have the same method of communication with wolves because, contrary to other dogs, these ones don't bark but howl. This is a primitive feature that allows wolves to communicate in long distances. Both of them have double fur and 42 teeth. Although wolves' teeth are longer and sharper, Siberian Husky is very similar to a gray wolf, especially those that have the same coat color. Samoyed in DNA studies of a 33,000-year-old fossil named Altai Dog, it was discovered that the most similar modern breed with this ancient hybrid is Samoyed. This breed is similar to the wolf, mainly with his appearance, face features, curly tail, and white color of fur. With this appearance, a Samoyed looks like a tiny version of a white wolf, except the frightening and intimidating experience. Samoyed have a happy face expression. That's why they have the Smiley Dog nickname. Canadian Eskimo Dog it's believed that these dogs originate from a 10,000-year-old purebreed, but according to other beliefs, they are direct ancestors of wolves. The last hypothesis is proved by their physical appearance, strong and athletic body. Also, a Canadian Eskimo dog temperament is similar to the wolf. These dogs are not that suitable with domestic life. They perform better in harsh environment, have strong predator instincts, and intend to take the herd's leadership. Just as wolves and husky, these breeds don't bark but howl. Based on the characteristics, physically, this dog dog is more similar with a Mexican wolf. Shikoku these dogs, too, belong to the primitive group of breeds because of their ancient origin and the retention of wolf characteristics for thousands of years. These dogs have inherited not only the face shape, arachnid ears, and double coat of wolves, but also the high prey drive. And because of this, they are named as the Japanese wolf dog. When they're puppies, they are affectionate and get close, but as an adult, the independence feature eventually gets stronger and is the same as its ancestors. Because of the curved tail, head, and ear shape, Shikoku can often be confused with a northwestern wool. A Tonigan. These dogs were bred for the purpose of creating a dog that will physically look like a wolf, but at the same time, be as gentle as other domestic dogs. In this breed, there are genes of Siberian Husky, Alaskan Malamute, German Shepherd, and five other dogs that remain unknown. His name is translated as Spirit of the Wolf because not only the size and physical features were inherited by their ancestors, but also some temperament traits like high prey drive and the instinct of a pack dog. But the sensitivity and tendency for connecting with family members, he's inherited from the genes of domesticated breeds. The size and color of the coat makes him very similar with an eastern wolf. Tamaskin The exact origin of this breed is unknown. 
but it's believed that in his genetics are included all of the Arctic breeds such as Alaskan and Siberian Husky, Alaskan Malamute, Canadian Eskimo Dog, so it's not a surprise the similarity this dog has with a wolf. But there are thoughts that these breeds in the end of the process were bred with the Czechoslovakian wolf dog, and nowadays, Tamaskin has the genes of a Carpathian wolf as well. In contrast from the other breeds, the main purpose for creating this dog was not just the wolf-like appearance, but also intelligence, courage, loyalty, and all these combined led to a dog able to work. Arachnid ears and yellow color of the eyes are common elements with the Italian wolf. Northern Inuit Dog the background of these dogs is still discussed, but most people agree that Husky, Malamute, and German Shepherd are part of their origin. According to other theories, these dogs have the genes of Samoyed and Canadian Eskimo dog. Same as wolves, these dogs have more tendencies to howl rather than bark. Northern Inuit can have different fur colors. This is why they can look like wolves, but their ear shape and physical appearance is more similar to a red wolf. The popularity of this breed increased from the TV series Game of Thrones, where they played the role of dire wolves. The similarity of these dogs with wolves in appearance and character are completely natural, but to some breeds, the similarity was the breeding aim. Here, we're talking about wolf dogs that are a hybrid of a domestic dog with some wolf species. A typical dog is the Sarloose Wolf Dog. This breed is a result of breeding a German Shepherd with a Eurasian Grey Wolf from Siberia. This dog has the physique, head, coat, and moves of a wolf. Genes of the Grey Wolf on this breed are dominant, so this is their common fur color. But the dog's temperament is more like a German Shepherd. He gets too close with his owner, he's intelligent, and easily trainable. So those features make him a great companion dog. The perfect gentleness and cruelty combination, these dogs are the opposite of the expression, wolf in sheep's clothing. Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog this dog is a result of a military biological experiment between shepherds and Carpathian gray wolves. The idea was to gain the ultimate military dog that has the temperament, herd mentality, and the training of a German shepherd while inheriting the strength, physical building, and stamina from the Carpathian wolf. But he inherited even more from wolves, moves, the color and texture of the coat, even the continual howl and good eyesight in the dark are a result of this genetic compound. In 1982, this dog was recognized as a domestic breed. Except in some countries, he's legal to be kept as a pet. Which one do you think looks more like a wolf? And which one would you like to own? Let us know in the comments.